there is so much of poison i think it is a combination of chinese money and radicalization in fact it is mohammad muizu and this woman this mad woman called mariam shuna they have given 35 to 38 islands to the chinese they this is nothing but you know in in many ways this is directly hindu hatred and this stems from the fact that she is absolutely radicalized by those islamic state terrorists this woman is a radicalized woman jain friends i'm mejo goravari and you're watching the chanakya dialogues english like this video subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon maldives is again you know in the center of controversy and the indians have been giving it to a certain maldivian minister left right and center and this storm is brewing on the social media here is the latest report ladies and gentlemen mariam shiuna Mar- mariam Sh- shiuna is a suspended minister you know she was the one talking nonsense about prime minister modi in india you remember when prime minister modi had gone to lakshadweep she was amongst the three uh, who were suspended for talking nonsense against the indian prime minister and uh, you know i i don't know where this venom for india comes out from india has always been helpful india has always gone a step further and said okay don't worry you need money you need water you need vegetables you need eggs you need building material whatever you need let us know and we'll supply it to you and yet there is so much of poison i think it is a combination of chinese money and radicalization i'll come to more of that later so mariam shiuna suspended minister of maldives people's national congress party apologized for a social media post now what is the social media post she had put a uh, Maldivian Democratic Party you know she was targeting the Maldivian Democratic Party and in place of their logo she put the Indian Ashok Chakra she put the Indian Ashok Chakra you know we have that Ashok Chakra in the middle of our national flag she put that and here is what she uh, you know put on the social media so ladies and gentlemen you are seeing what she did but there was a severe backlash now why did she put it because she said that no this maldivian democratic party is beholden to india it's an indian stooge that is how they keep on you know abusing each other saying that you're a stooge of that country you're a stooge there is no stooge here india has always been friends india never said give us these islands in fact it is mohammad muizu and this woman this mad woman called mariam shiuna they have given 35 to 38 islands to the chinese they've handed over their country to the chinese and the chinese are running those islands yeah. So this is what these guys have done, and then she dared insult the Indian flag, and Shiuna deleted the post after a severe backlash because the Indians, obviously on Twitter, they got after her and they flogged her left, right, and center. She got a smacking, a slap of a lifetime, and this woman got scared and she deleted it very quickly. You know, she was trying to become Tarzan, and uh, she clarified that the resemblance to the Indian flag was unintentional. and express it it was not unintentional this woman is a chinese stooge she has taken money from the chinese just like that idiot of a president of maldives mohammad muizu she has also taken money and one thing more you know one thing more you know this hatred for india and i can tell you from this woman's perspective and also from mohammad muizu's perspective it is a chinese money also hindu hatred and i'll tell you why because maldives has the record of per 100 people or per capita sending the most number of people to get recruited into the islamic state you understand so if you talk about nationality ratio wise the most number of terrorists supplied by any country to the islamic state is from maldives and look at this woman's photograph this woman spews venom against india and she looks ready to join isis immediately i mean she could just log out of her twitter account and go and join isis and fight in syria and afghanistan wherever they are this is that hatred this is religious bigotry this is that hatred they have towards hindus you see uh i would like to address a social media post of mine this is what she says a apology tweet I would like to address a recent social media post of mine that has garnered attention and criticism. I extend my sincerest apologies for any confusion or offense caused by the content of my recent post. It was brought to my attention that the image used in my response to the Maldivian Opposition Party (MDP) bore a resemblance to the Indian flag. No, ma'am, it does not bear a resemblance. This is the Ashok Chakra, and you picked it out from the Indian flag, and you know that. Stop lying. At least be truthful. Be honest. I want to make it clear that this was entirely unintentional and I sincerely regret my misunderstanding 
Any misunderstanding it may have caused, Maldives deeply values this relationship and mutual respect we share with India. In future, I'll be more vigilant in verifying the content I share to prevent such oversights. She's lying. She's a cheat. She's a thief. And I think Maldives should put her in jail. This woman is a complete lunatic. Right? She has done it in the past along with that lunatic of a president, Mohammed Muizu. And this is nothing but Hindu hatred. It's not even Indian hatred or hatred for India. It is not India hatred. It is specifically Hindu hatred because the way she has presented her case in the past. You know, look at her tweets from old times, which again she has deleted. This is nothing but, you know, in, in many ways, this is directly Hindu hatred. And this stems from the fact that she is absolutely radicalized by those Islamic State terrorists. This woman is a radicalized woman. She could explode. Who knows? Earlier, Shiuna and two other Maldivian ministers were suspended for disrespectful remarks about Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's trip to Lakshadweep. PM Modi's prom promotion of Lakshadweep's beauty on social media in, in January had led to disparaging remarks from the Maldivian officials, including Shiuna and Malsha Sharif and Abdullah Mazum Majid towards India and the Prime Minister. So where did this hatred come from? Why? If the Prime Minister of India visits a place in India and says, hey, this place in India is very beautiful. He's not even talking about Maldives. He visited Lakshadweep. Lakshadweep is part of India. And what does Maldives have to do with it? Again, this is Hindu hatred and this is Chinese money. A cocktail, a potent cocktail, exactly like Pakistan. Pakistan is also based on Hindu hatred and Chinese money. Exactly like Pakistan. So, uh, but on the other hand, the Maldivian foreign minister, Musa Zamir, thanks India for an increasing export of essential supplies. Despite diplomatic tension, so this, these guys, you know, uh, they asked India for help very recently and India said, okay, done, we'll help you. Without batting an eyelid, India said, we'll go ahead and I, he says, I sincerely thank External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jashankar and the Government of India for the renewal of the quota to enable Maldives to import essential commodities from India during the year 2425. It is truly a Truly a gesture which signifies the long-standing friendship and the strong commitment to further expand bilateral trade and commerce between the two countries. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Either these people are, you know, they have schizophrenia, the Maldivian government. And I don't know why. You abuse India. You abuse the Indian Prime Minister. Then you ask India for help. They've done this earlier also, by the way. Then India helped. Then again you abuse India. And then again you ask for help. This sounds like Pakistan. Imran Khan, when he was the Prime Minister, he used to abuse Prime Minister Modi. Then he asked for help in terms of sending medicines. And then again he abused Prime Minister Modi. And then... When he lost power, he started praising him and started playing Dr. Jay Shankar's uh, video in his rallies, saying that this is the way to conduct foreign policy. There is something very seriously wrong with the Pakistanis. That Lancet magazine, which I often quote, you must read that article on why almost 70% of Pakistanis have got psychological issues. I think it's 60 or 70% have got severe psychological issues. That whole nation is mad. They're doing crazy stuff. I think Maldives is the same problem. External Affairs Minister S. Jashankar just said that, yeah, this is neighborhood first and our Sagar policies. You're welcome, for, uh, Foreign Minister Musa Zamir. India stands firmly committed to his neighborhood first and Sagar policies. That's it. And 25 revised export quotas include a 25% increase in critical commodities like river sand, stone, stone aggregates and, uh, you know, vital for Maldives construction sector. Additionally, 5% increase in export limits for essential food items such as eggs, potatoes, onions, sugar, rice, wheat, flour and pulses. Now, you know, they're saying India has a big heart and Maldivians are blasting Muizu all over the place. And they're saying India has a big heart. Maldivians remind President Mohammed Muizu of his no one can bully us remarks against New Delhi after India allows export of essential commodities at Malay's request. Muizu's comments made in January considered, uh, considered directed at New Delhi highlighted Maldives stance against bullying despite its small size. So, you know, this, this victim card playing by Maldives. This is very typical. Very typical. They have learnt it from the Palestinians, I think. This victim card. Nobody is saying anything to you. Nobody's done anything to you. We have said if you need help, we'll help you. 
You wanted money, we gave it to you. You wanted water, we gave it to you. You wanted stuff to eat, we gave it to you. You said, you know, build something for us, we build something for you. You said we want a hospital, we built a 300 bed hospital. For you. I mean, I, I don't understand this hatred for India. Has India tried to take over? Your democratically elected government was being overthrown by your own people. India sent a para brigade from Agra. They restored law and order. Democracy is flourishing in Maldives in whatever form. It is because of India. The Chinese did not send help. The Chinese just put money in the pocket of this mad woman, Shuinu, whatever it is she's called, Mariam Shuinu. And Mohammed Muizu, they, they put money in their pockets and that is why these people are parroting the Chinese line, that's all. There is nothing that they have, there is nothing that they bring to the table. And now the people of Maldives are getting together and saying that you people are fools. They are calling their own leader fools. They are saying that India has a very big heart. In spite of you doing all that you could at China's behest in terms of insulting India and insulting India's Prime Minister, yet when you cry for help, it is India that responds and not China. Has China responded? Don't the Chinese grow potatoes? Don't the Chinese have construction material? Don't the Chinese have eggs or whatever they wanted, the Maldivians? The Chinese have it. But the Chinese did not respond. They went to ask money from the Chinese. I'll give you an example from here. You see, uh, Maldivian FM Musa Zamir thanks Dr. Jai Shankar. Uh, Zamir's gratitude sparks reactions from Maldivians with some questioning the necessity of Moizu's earlier remarks. Ali Ibrahim expresses gratitude to India, acknowledges India's historical support and suggests Moizu's comments were unnecessary given the evolving and positive relationship between the two countries. Ibrahim M. D.D., former MP, is a former member of Parliament of Maldives, praises New Delhi's responsible approach as a big brother, emphasizing the focus on achieving tangible outcomes and maintaining good relations. And also the fact that they approached China for financial help. They asked China for money. And China said, no money. We want 10 more islands. We'll give you money. How much do you want? You want 100 million? Take a billion. Money is not a problem. But what are you giving us in return? Okay, give us your top 10 islands for a period of 90 years. And take a billion. This friendship with China this Maldivian friendship with China. Yes, it poses a danger to India. But India can mitigate these challenges. For India, it's not a problem. The problem is with Maldives because when you accept money from China, you become Pakistan. You lose sovereignty. You lose your strategic autonomy. Tomorrow, Maldives will dance to the tune of the Chinese simply because their top leadership has accepted Chinese cash. That's all that there is to it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for question and answers. The first question is from Jay. Sir, do you think there can be a Khalistani angle to this situation? Pannu had accused Kejriwal of not, of not helping them. And also, Americans might be using those terrorists as a deterrence towards India. Americans using Khalistanis, of course, yes, 100%. I agree with you. Pannu is a CIA stooge. I don't think Pannu is getting paid very much because Pannu can't do very much except for, you know, make uh, videos in bad English. That is all Pannu is good for. But I'm sure they're giving him ten, twenty thousand dollars a year. They won't give Pannu more than that. Pannu is not worth more than that. And do you think there is a Khalistani angle? Yes. Uh, Pannu had accused Kejriwal, and also the fact that uh, you know uh, that famous poet Kumar Vishwas is on record saying that you know I've seen his video in which he points out that uh, Kejriwal supports the Khalistanis and he stayed in a Khalistan. In fact, media covered it that uh, Kejriwal stayed in a Khalistani's house. He went to a Khalistani's house for a meal or something like that during election. So, yeah, there are politicians. I'm not saying Kejriwal alone. There could be many others who don't mind shaking hands with the enemy as long as it serves their political interests. So, this is the answer to your question. And Vivek Kulshreshta says, uh, Jai Hind, Jai Shri Ram, Major Sir. Jai Hind and Jai Shri Ram, Vivek Ji. He says, I'm Vivek from Bangalore. My question is the way Western media talks about our election without knowing or even conducting elections on a scale to the tune of 1.5 billion people in the UN barely managing 200 odd countries. This is a clear issue of white burden privilege and their sense of superiority. How can we as a country counter this anti-India notion internationally and work towards facts and figures addressing misinformation also considering the anti-India machine that's running in our country? Ignore the West. Just ignore them. Right? They'll keep on saying nonsense. Make yourself stronger and stronger and put out, regularly put out facts in the public. They like to lecture non-whites. 
uh, this is their problem with them. They like to lecture non-whites. They like to tell uh, black countries, brown countries, you know, I'm, I'm talking from the angle of the color of the skin. They love to talk down upon countries. The problem is that, you know, apart from Germany, apart from Germany, we are richer than every single European country. Apart from Germany. And we are going to take over Germany very shortly in the next two, three years. They can't stand that. It hurts them very deeply. It cuts to the bone. Because they were ruling the world at one point in time. And suddenly you have India. You know, China doesn't listen to them. China says, you speak against China, it has consequences. It does not matter if you are Chinese or non-Chinese. So with China, they are very, very careful. Because China does not practice freedom of speech. But here, in India, there is freedom of speech. And as far as people inside India, uh, you know, working against the national interest, that has always been the case in India. And that has always been the case. You know, it is, it is, uh, it's not new. It's been going on for thousands of years. We have to figure out a way by which we can deal with this nonsense from within. Right? So with that, I come to the end of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video, press the like button. Subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon. Jai Hind. Vande Matram. Bharat Mata Ki Jai.